One more example with geometric series. How do I know? Let's see what is happening here. So, we already know that geometric series has a shape or a form of A, R to the N. So A is the first term, R is the common ratio. Here I don't see it, so let's try to rewrite it first. A sum minus 2 and then there is over 6. They both have a counter N in the exponent, minus 2 to the N minus 1 over 6 to the N. So to merge them into 1 N, you should choose the lowest one, N minus 1, that's how I'm going to choose. Then 6 to the n can be rewritten as 6 to the n times 6, right? Check yourself. 6 times n minus 1 times 6 is 6 to the n. Then it will be a sum minus 2 over 6, parentheses, n minus 1, properties of exponents, times 1, 6. Where does this 1, 6 came from? It was over here at the denominator, right? So that's why I'm dividing by 1, 6. Now it's exactly a form of the geometric series. Geometric series. So the common ratio R is everything inside of those parentheses. That's my R. This thing is not always A. You have to be careful with this. A is the first term. This is the first term. And the first term depends on the counter. If N starts with 5, it will be different. N starts from 0, it will be different. So you have to be careful. Let's write down r is minus 2 over 6. If r by absolute value is greater than 1, then the series diverges. So let's check. By absolute value, this is 1 third. 1 third is less than 1. So the series converges. So you can say thus, this geometric series converges and it's also converges to a known sum 2s equals first term a over 1 minus the common ratio that's the known formula of the finite total sum of the geometric series converged geometric series it only happens when they are by absolute value is less than 1 so to find that sum first of all we can answer the question we can say, yes, this phi, this uh, series converges. Then we want to know it converges to what? We know R already for the formula, so R is going to go here. Now we also need to find A. To find A, I need to plug N equals 1 into the original series and see what's the number we end up with. So when I plug A equals 1 into the original series, I'm looking over here. I will have minus 2 to the 0, that's 1, 6 to 1. So that is 1, 6. Indeed, that was the number we, which we saw over here. But again, be careful, it's not always the case. Thus, it converges to a sum s, which is 1 over 6 over 1 minus r, which is 1 third. Actually, r is not 1 third, be careful with that minus one third remember that the original r is minus two six let me write down minus two six so you have good notes how to simplify this be careful with all the signs and fractions so i have one over six at the numerator i have one plus one third at the denominator if i have a fraction over fraction i usually do this way I create a common denominator at the denominator. 1 plus 1 third is 3 thirds over 1 third. That's 4 thirds. Now, when you divide by a fraction, you multiply by a reciprocal, which means you flip the fraction. So I'm going to multiply by 3 quarters. 3 quarters and 1 six simplify to, this will be 2. So it's going to be 1 over 8. That means that this geometric series converges because the common factor or common ratio, which is in the formula over here, this is my common ratio, is less than 1 by absolute value. 
and it converges to one eight. Let me put important points. R was important, A was important, and finite sum is important. Converges because it's geometric series. How to identify that this is a geometric series? You can see that it is a number raised to the n, and n is a counter. This is the shape of the geometric series. Common. Common factor or common ratio. Common ratio raised to the n with the a standing outside, which is the first term, if you want to write it down like so, it's going to be a plus a r plus a r squared plus a r cubed and keep going forever. This was a good example. Hopefully, now we can work easy, easily all other examples like this. Thank you for watching.